Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode, well, it was kind of uneventful. We really didn't do too much. We did some more raiding along the coast over in France and we tried to do it along in Spain, but we had some kind of bug that prevented that. So, what is our plan for this episode? Well, it looks like overall there's really not too much that we can do for Jarl com Communism right now. He's currently in a truce, and so he's not in any wars or anything. So instead, I think that we should set our sights on a different target. That target being Ireland over here. Ireland is currently still kind of just stagnated. You know, separate tribes and all that. Which kind of makes it really quite open to be invaded. So, what we are going to do is we're going to focus on Chief Fergal of Deshaman, whatever. We can potentially declare war on him, now it looks like, for the conquest. Let's see. Pagans and nomads can conquer single border colony counties without specific reasons. Norse pagans can take any coastal co county. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, we don't need to have a claim on it or anything like that. Why is the council voting no, though? Two voters were for and four were against. Oh, come on, council. Why am I even relying on the council? Can I change that? Let's see, if I went to... Council is not allowed to initiate voting for this type of law. Chiefs have limited power over their vassals. They all oppose that. Centralization. Well, I should probably do title revocation at the very least. Let's do that for the moment. Doesn't look like there's really anything else that I can do, though. But at least they should all vote in favor of this. Alright. They've approved it. Hooray! I have decided to institute the minimal tribal organization. All that is needed is support of yourself and my other loyal vassals. Sure! I, so no I see no reason to really go against it. So let's see, Jarl Bo wants me to support him on the council, but eh, I'm not really interested in that right now. Alright, so we need to try and get our council support up. Let's look at my council. They're all pragmatists right now. So let's see. Request the council support. We can do that. Is that perhaps enough? Let's see, we can click to toggle the voting details window. So Hogne and myself... Oh, I will support you in the council? Maybe that was what we needed. Okay. So he's returning a favor to Jarl Drolfer. We can do our conquest. So let's begin that. We have our full group of troops here, uh, 1065. We have 86 gold, hopefully that's enough for us to, I guess, afford this whole war thing. Bring forth the troops, bring forth the fleet. And a thousand troops should be enough to do the conquests. Because this location only has, let's see, 497 troops. King Sigurd of Essex has joined this war. Oh crap. Well, let's see. Could I perhaps get him to join my war? Um, no. Oh, I have no allies that I can possibly call into this war. Oh no. <laughs> Well, this may not go well, but if I can grab this territory quickly enough...
You have a new era. If your character dies now, you will play as Communism the Second. Oh, not Communism the First? What happened to Communism the First? Unless uh, there are people who are actually supporting Alexander the Second, Yarrow. Oh. So some of my vassals are supporting Communism the Second rather than Communism. Regular Communism. Uh oh. That's not exactly a good thing. <laughs> oh dear. Why can't you support him? I'd much rather support him. He's got good stuff. 14 Marshall. Oh crap. The army of Bishop. Oh, the guys from Essex. Lovely. Okay, back onto the ship. And of course they're just going to sit there, aren't they? I mean, I could attempt to attack at Essex here, I suppose. Ugh. This is completely going against my whole plan here. And the problem is, I don't have enough... I don't have enough troops to be able to... Or I don't have enough ships to carry my forces, an event spawn force, over here. Well, let's see. Could I get my king to join my war, maybe? Resign from council? No, of course not. I was hopeful, at least. So I guess for the moment we're just going to do a little siege here. My son Alexander II has asked me to spend some quality family time in Nylon Tribe. Uh, to become better friends with Jarl Communism. I suppose that sounds nice. <laughs> Jarl Communism, Alexander II and I had a great time together. We've strengthened our family bonds. Of course, he probably still won't end the plot against me. No, of course not. Even though he really likes me for the most part, he still wants to kill me. And he still won't form an alliance either. Oh, pain in my butt. Yeah, the only thing I can hope that I do is maybe by invading Essex here and all that, I can sort of force these guys to fall back and... Or at least maybe choke them out money-wise? They have an 105 gold. They have, they have a monthly balance even with their forces deployed. That kind of sucks. Oh, wait, no. I was looking at the wrong one. Here we go, okay. He's losing gold, yes. I'm known as the careless? Why is that? What did I do this time? And troops are attempting... Oh. Well, they don't have enough forces <laughs> to take <a laughs> my castle there. <laughs> So apparently, oh, because that's actually controlled by the petty kingdom of Essex. Okay. That's one of those weird situations that comes up in Crusader Kings 2. I thought the, the people from Kent had joined us as well, but it was really only this particular bishopric that was actually part of the war. It's one of those weird situations that sometimes happens, especially with feudal kingdoms. I'm having dinner tonight and plenty of drinks with Jarl Communism of Skein. It's lovely, yet what I am charmed by is communism himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon some almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of Odin. If he did not ask questions, why did o Odin make us curious? Oh dear. Walking the palisades of my town, I am joined by communism. I find myself agreeing with a lot of his concepts that he presents, 
The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? I'll keep it hidden and I thank you. Oh dear, he's gonna have me join the dark side. What if I told you that all you have been taught to believe is a lie? He continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of Hell's mark. Odin is a liar. Reject a tyrant deity and let Hell guide your steps. You truly are a side mutter, then. Can you help me win on the battlefield? Well, I guess we're going all out for being evil. We might, if you offer yourself up to Hell. You will be granted powers Odin has kept from us humans. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. If there's any chance that'll help me win on the battlefield, I will. Alright, how's our siege going on here? It's... progressing? Slowly? It's been some time since communism was in contact with me. I've been pondering what Odin would think of me for venturing down this path. But communism has already offered me more support than Odin ever has. I've begun studying books on the occult, and so far I'm finding the views preached at the temple to be narrow-minded at best. I'm beginning to feel that I've been missing out. This option is available because you have the chase trait. And I would lose the chase trait. Okay, sure. I've gone so long without craving the touch of another human, but now I've grown wiser. Yay, I'm no longer chase. Concubines for everyone. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night, and I dare not ask my seer to decipher it. Yet I think I understand the mark of hell. Of course, the bargain must be struck. You carve hell's mark into your arm, just like one, just like the one Jarl communism showed you. I suppose if we're doing this, perhaps we can change our focus from intrigue. Let's go to hunting. It'll increase our health and increase our martial. Because who knows what taking this dark path will do to us. And it looks like these guys... Oh, they were taking a little bit of attrition there. Brother Durolfer, we have received word of your dedication and desire to join the Legion of the True Lord. Await the messenger. Let the Dark One guide you. Signed, Troll Mutter Bennett. Ooh, he looks a little hideous with his... Uh... <laughs> very, uh... What's the word? Not skinny. Gaunt. Look, that's it. Oh, and a child lacks ed education focus. Let's do intrigue for the Solvi here. I've met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful man at court. Apparently, the d this Drolfer is a foreign diplomat. Wait, what? There's two Drolfers. How can that be? <laughs> I engaged him in conversation for the first time today, and we spoke at length about poisons. I was shocked when he carefully pulled up his sleeve, revealing the mark of hell. Spademar Matter smiles. I'm pleased to find you not only a charming man, Dorolfer, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The brethren value the pursuit of knowledge. You see, in addition to more earthly pursuits, his smile turns into a predatory grin as he continues. We'll soon see exactly how committed you are. I. What do you need me to do? Oh yeah, I forgot, because uh, Jarelfri here is homosexual, so of course he'd go for a man. A man with the exact same name, and let's see, uh, almost 30 years younger? Jarelfri escorts me to my bedchamber. I hesitate upon entering, finding it flooded with light as candles form a circle around my bed. Several figures surround the room, chanting in unison, Fear not, brother. Power and pleasure, these are the gifts of hell. I like the sound of that. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone and Ralph is lying next to me, the smile tugging at the corner of his mouth. Or a smile tugging at the corner of his mouth. 
of his mouth. Welcome to the Fellowship of Hell, Jarl, he says. I hold him close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. I wish you had found me sooner. This was a necessary evil. Well, I suppose we'll go with I wish you had found me sooner. And now I've gone all evil. Got an evil dark cloak to me and everything. So, while we're doing this, we might as well look at the society's tree. Young Communism has the second has finished education in diplomacy. He's become a great eminence, masterful level of diplomacy. That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, level 16, that's not bad at all. Now let's see if we can find him a wife. As my troops ransack the castle of Colchester, they uncovered an interesting relic that Bishop Ethelbert has hidden away. Wonderful news. Well, let's pause it for a moment. They have to try and get a wife for communism the second here. At Ghoul. She's a possibility. She's paranoid, deceitful, zealous. But she wants to get married, so you know what? We'll do that. At Ghoul and Communism the second are getting married. Uh, let's go for the prestige. And while we have the prestige there, we might as well go back to Sealand. And let's build the training grounds. Alright, so we've done one siege, we've taken the castle here. We're gradually trying to make some progress. Recently I noticed the pitiful state of my son, Sturla. I have been informed that the cause of his aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. Call the court physician. So yeah, it really looks like they can't do too much to our capital here with 130 troops. Oh dear. So we can do righteous imprisonment. Anything new with that? High Chief Dis Alfsol. Oh, my wife? Eh, I don't care about that. My half-brother, Communism, wants council support. You know what? We'll do that. Alright, so I can do... Let's see, Duralfer. Oh, that's just for Duralfer. Okay. I have a du jour claim on Finn, but again, that involves me trying to go up against the king, and that's definitely asking for trouble here. Oh, our king became a little boy. Interesting. Oh, I can't ask for any land, though. Offer to help teach or offer to help with liege titles uh, over max domain size by greater or equal to four. Ask liege for a title. Oh, the liege can't have a regent though. Okay, so I'll have to keep in mind that ask liege for title. Okay. I think that's what I need to do to actually sort of build myself up, is do Ask Liege for title. But we're not going to deal with that until he's of age. Oh, he's one. <laughs> we could just kill him. Possibly, possibly. 241 plot power? Okay, we're killing. We're killing our liege. Send, send the whole, <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. We're going to send the whole kingdom into craziness. Because as soon as he dies and it goes to Jarl Bo here, that could be very interesting. My co-conspirator, Sorkver, has managed to get one of the maids near King Alfer. For a priceless sum, she has agreed to solve her little problem for us. Fabulous. This poor king. It's at 254 plot power. 
the Orthodox faith is triumphant against the heretics of the, I guess, iconoclasts? Whoops, I didn't realize that I was uh, still paused. Hell's favors, bade Mater Dorolfer. An opportunity to strike at the foolish followers of the false gods has presented itself. Their godies in Hlerdo, however you pronounce that, are ignorant of the true state of the world. Tear down their idols and steal their wealth in the name of Hell. I can accept the mission, desecrate the temple, targeting that location. To complete it, right click on the shields. Of the place and that's a great temple. I'm tempted to. The only thing is that might potentially create a peasant revolt, so I have to be careful with that. Failure. King Alfred framed off the maid with his wailing, but she was caught and exposed in exposed my involvement. The plot is revealed. But even if it's revealed, I don't think it's gonna do much. My co-conspirator has managed to get one of the maids. Oh, well, we got another maid. We'll send maids against the young king. <laughs> Success! King Alfer was smothered with a pillow by the maid we had bribed. She wasn't caught, and no one has any reason to place blame on me. The world is too cruel for children. Ooh, so this could make things interesting. <gasps> Are we? Yay! We have freed the kingdom of Denmark. Nice. <laughs> Although, uh, <laughs> our son is now over here, but let's see. I suppose we can accept that. Um, well, this is a very interesting development. The Kingdom of Denmark. Let's see, who can I nominate? I suppose I could nominate myself. Sure, let's nominate myself, and then if we could take out communism, we could take over. It's a possibility, anyways. Uh, you want to make me a commander? That's a bad choice. I am sorry, but I must decline. Also, I noticed that he has less troops now for some reason. Interesting. In peace realm. Oh. Point counselor. Oh, he's offering me to be his advisor? Sure, why not? Well, at least we have finally freed ourselves from the grasp of Sweden here. Daughter was born to communism the second. Ah, lovely. All right, you want me to still be a commander? Fine, I'll accept it. But I am not going out. I'm forbidding myself to go out and lead troops. I'm a commander in name only, I guess. Dear half-brother, may you live in harmony. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms. Sure. What's going on here now? Oh, these guys over here? Well, I guess if it helps the kingdom. Although we're still involved in this whole war. Let's see, if I gave 
move this up, it would hurt moral authority for the Germanics. Gain prestige, I lose 200 prestige, and I give up a decent amount of money. I don't really want to do that. I wonder, can I ask Liege for title? Can't ask for land though. Well, let's ask for a title, I guess. Because they have enough prestige for it. I acquired a title! You are a devoted servant. Please accept the chieftain of Yiland. Oh, I have another chieftain then! So it was both a title and a land. Okay, nice. I will accept that. Definitely. It's not much, but it's still something. So let's build this hill fort there. Jeez, we're not doing too well here. He's Skeetish Danish subjugation. Oh, that's by. Let's see, I think that's. Oh dear. Holy crap. Oh, that's just this guy. Oh, jeez, that's not good. All right, bring our troops back. Um, hmm. I think we need to bring out that tribal army now. Because otherwise, we're going to lose this war over here. Oh, geez, they have another tribal army that they've sent out. Of course. Can I bring another tribal army? I can. Uh, let's do it. the whole army. We got this massive army going now. And did I offer to join this war or am I already in this war? Apparently I'm already in this war. Okay. My son is asked to spend more quality family time lovely. And a daughter again? I guess we're pretty much all devoted to communism the second. Why? Oh, he has a decent martial score, okay. He's doing better now than he was. Alright, next to head up here to try and win this other war that we're in now. You better win this. In the chaos of battle, your man men managed to corner Chief Vandamil. Hooray! And that seemed to scare them all away for some reason. 
All right, we're just going to do an assault there. And I think we're just going to do an assault here too. To make sure that we grab this. I'm thinking about it anyways. Actually, we may not need to. The score is going better in our favor now. My Sister in Darkness Saga was passing by and decided to pay me a surprise visit. She's in a lewd mood and thought we might stage an impromptu orgy in honor of Loki. No way, her debaucheries never end well. <laughs> oh, I guess, even though I really don't want to do it with her, she's really old. Actually, I guess she's only five years older than I am. Where am I? Oh yes, the orgy. Three days of wicked debaucheries. Conducted by Priapic Dwarf from Hell. The drugs, the copulation, the succubus with the hypnotic flute. The ritual was murder. Was it real? All I know is that Saga sure knows how to party. Let's do it again sometime. And I gained the lustful trait. So I went from chaste to lustful within a few years. It's always a nice thing. Alright, well I have 36 ships that I can do now, which should be enough to help win this one war that I want to do. So we'll take the group that's 3,000 worth and have them head down. Reorganize it so that all of our forces are in the middle. Oh dear. Yay, King Communism won. Alright, move on down. How's our money looking? It's not looking very good. This group I am just going to disband. I don't like disbanding all of those special unit troops, but uh, it's probably the best bet. Oh, I have a new ambition I can go for. Become Kingdom of Denmark? Sure, even though it's completely against communism, who is a much better king than I am. Alright, well hopefully getting rid of those event troops will do a little bit better for us as we go to do this conquest over here. Ah, uh, we're still losing 2.6, so we gotta get this done quick. Let's drop our forces off right up here. Get them to full morale. As soon as they're done with that, they should be able to go right on in. Because we're almost to the point of losing this war. No, why are you taking attrition? Don't take attrition. Bad. Bad army. This unit has been out of supplies? Oh, how does that work? I don't exactly know how being out of supplies works. And that's one thing I do have to figure out. I know this is supposed to be a tutorial series. I'm doing a horrible job <laughs> doing a tutorial here. Well, the good news is that we almost have this place now. So we'll gradually expand our reign into Ireland here to be our empire of Scandinavia, even if it's uh, a weird and convoluted way to do it. Come on, you 
almost got it. You almost got it. Grand summoning. For some time now, my brother in darkness, King Communism of Denmark, and I have been researching the proper ritual for inv invoking a certain Jotun Lord. Or Jotun Lord. A few weeks back, our kin managed to procure the ancient clay tablet with the missing incantation. We stand ready now to attain powers undreamed of by mortal men. Unlimited power. I would yell at that, but I think I would wake up everyone <laughs> in the house. <laughs> one day, one day I will be free to scream out unlimited power like Emperor Palpatine. Our coven surrounds the summoning circle, the correct symbols drawn, the fatty candles burning a sickly green. Communism intones the final invocation, just as I offer up the sacrifice. Distracted by the spurting blood, at first I don't notice the man standing in a circle like he was there all along. Looking straight at me with a smirk, he says, Bravely done, child. You have no understanding of the forces you are meddling with, but I did find your sacrifice pleasing. Quid pro quo, name your desire, boy. Great lord, I seek power. Oh, I gained intrigue. Nice. All right, and King Communism likes us even more. That's always a good thing. Although, he's actually kind of... Oh, I'm supporting a different heir. Boo-hoo. All right. We can go for peace, enforce our demands, yes. We usurp the title of... Temple... Usurp the title Temple of Cloyne. From Clonath and the title Chieftain of Desmond, and we've won. All right. Wrong type of holding in domain. Hey, Communism the Second finally got a proper son, who will be named Communism the Third. All right, well, let's get his education figured out real quick. We'll do Struggle next. You, we can disband. You, move there. Since this is the wrong holding type, we'll right click on it. And up here, where it has a little crown and three little dots, it says create new vassal, we'll do that. That way it's no longer giving us the uh, wrong title holding. And we are now at our maximum domain size of three. So, if we were to expand out more, we'd have to be a little bit cautious about that. We'd have to sort of eventually move to duchies and that sort of thing, which is a possibility that we will consider here. But I think for the time being, we probably could boost up some of the stuff that's around here. But uh, I think we're going to end it here today. So, I guess the good news is that by assassinating that last son of the kingdom we were able to split it all up and sort of gain independence in a way it was a different way to achieve it but it worked y'all Duralf for Denmark let's see oh I'm a claimant okay I could join it I could join that faction Let's see, opinion of Durolf as liege, opinion of liege, okay. So this guy doesn't like his liege, but he likes us. Okay, interesting. Should I join the faction, potentially go up against, <laughs> against communism here? I don't know. We'll have to consider that for the next episode. So, uh, yeah, we've made some progress, which is definitely a good sign. Um, a lot more stuff that we need to do, though, so we'll see what happens in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial video. Definitely a bit more action going on in this one than the last one. And uh, we'll see what happens as we eventually try to make our kingdom or our empire of Scandinavia. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you stay notified in all of my streams and videos. And finally, if you have any questions about what I did in this episode or other episodes, be sure to leave a comment below, and I will get back to you, and hopefully we can figure it out. Thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you all in the next episode.